guys, I'm Ronnie Wex from C10 Talk. We're a truck automotive podcast. I'm the host. Pretty much all things C10 trucks, Chevy trucks. We're here with my latest project, Orange Slice. Orange Slice started as a GMC long bed, big block, a lot higher, and uh, it's got a radical vibe. It's my colors, it's my style, and uh, I picked it up in Montana with two of my buddies. Kyle Oxberger, who's in, responsible for cutting this thing down and making it a short bed, and then my buddy uh, Kevin Stickle, Digital C10. We went up to Montana, we drove it all the way home. 48 hours, I think it was like 13 or 1400 miles. So at that point we knew we had a keeper here. It was a good truck that uh, we could do a lot with. Uh, the most important thing was how do you take a long bed and cut it down? My buddy Kyle Metalox, he did exactly that. So he's really good at cutting down long bed trucks. We cut the frame in house. And we did everything else really in-house. What, what I was kind of going for with that vibe was, how do I take all this radicalness and then make it radder? Well, what you do is you take old school tech, old school analog, and you make it digital. You make it to today's standards. And that's what we did. The things I was looking for was stance, wheels, and, uh, and just pop. So we were given the pop with the paint. Now this is an impact decal that GM had in 1976. It's cool because the yellow is underneath and there's different areas where you'll see the orange has kind of been hit, struck or scratched and there's yellow underneath there. So the yellow, the orange and then the impact stickers. This is a decal that's laid over the yellow paint. We updated everything with the stance Ride Tech Coilovers. I knew I wanted to stand just right. I wanted some rake to give it that 70s vibe. I was looking for late 70s rad, you know, 2020, 2020 tech, if you will. Big wheels, 20s uh, US mags, they're giving it that indie hauler look and uh, they're just not 15s anymore. So 20s front and rear and uh, that adds to the stance. Updated the inside, got the Coda Digital RTX, so you've got that look, that analog, old school, 70s square body look, but you've got all the tech that's going along with it. Another thing that's really important is it's a big block, so I wanted that sound to be 70s-esque, so I went with Flowmaster. So, so when you hit the ignition, you hear it rumble. And uh, you get on it, and it takes you back. So we've got the stance, we've got the wheels, and we've got the, the sound. Um, we needed some stopping because we have big blocks, so we updated the brakes, 14s and 13s. Uh, Arizona Pro sells the Revelator kit, and they're made by Bear Brakes. And again, what we wanted to do, we accomplished. We wanted old school look, old school stance, old school styling, but modern and, uh, and, and handle, you know, drivability. So it's got to look cool, but it's got to handle cool, and we accomplished that. And uh, Pretty stoked. You we'll take it for a drive? Driving this truck now, going from a leaf spring truck to the four link with the coilovers, having that adjustability, it's like a luxury car. You can see Orange Slice's body is perfectly settled as it goes down the highway and over the road imperfections, it cruises so smooth. After installing and driving the kit, I'm a true believer. Not only do I get the low stance that I wanted, I get the ride quality I desired. With the Ridetech 4-Link, my truck lunges forward when I stand on the gas, perfect with this big block 454.
That's it. Shoo. Get on out of here. Get. For the record, Steve was driving when we ran out of gas. Steve ran out of gas.